Hello everyone, my name is Mer Varifova and I am the lab supervisor here at Generation Next Fertility. Today we'll be speaking about egg freezing, which is also known as oocyte bar preservation. Generally, during the egg freezing cycle, a patient's eggs will get extracted, crown preserved, and then stored in our liquid nitrogen tanks for later use. Typically, on day two of menses, a patient will come in for routine blood work and ultrasound. The ultrasound will help show us how many oocytes the patient currently has, whereas the blood work will analyze all hormone levels. These combined results will help aid the doctor in prescribing the proper dosage of medication for ovarian stimulation. After a period of time, the patient will come in for egg retrieval day. On egg retrieval day, these oocytes will be extracted vaginally under ultrasound guidance. An IVF lab technician will assess the maturity of these oocytes. Only mature M2 oocytes will be crowd preserved. A crowd protected media will be added to these oocytes to help aid them in the freezing process. They will then be rapidly frozen in liquid nitrogen. This technique is called vitrification. Vitrification rates have greatly advanced over the past five years. Patients that should seek egg freezing are cancer patients who are about to undergo chemotherapy, patients that may have any genetic diseases that can hinder their fertility, and also those patients who want to preserve their reproductive potential for future use. With today's technological advancements, we are given the opportunity to have families of our own. Come in today for a consultation and let's discuss your options. Thank you.